Mr. Adams, I have a prisoner. Franklin. You bastard. Take him out. Have him shot. No, no, Sam! I've come to my senses. I want to help. The murder of my cousin John. The families of Dorchester. Up at the old North Church. She burned. Everyone inside. All horrible. Do as I said. No! I believe he will help us. The only way to end this is to get to Washington, and Franklin knows Washington well. We've just learned that he is in New York. If we could join Jefferson's rebels in Manhattan, we could attack the king together. How am I to escape the stranglehold around Boston? The docks are overrun with soldiers. Putnam is gone, and the captain at Boston Neck is secretly sympathetic to us. I am sure he will help us if he thinks he can get away with it. But he must help us in such a way that he will not be caught. Perhaps he could triple the soldiers' rum ration. That way we can catch them drunk, get Boston Neck to break through. And once in New York, I can be a particular help. Don't want to hear it! I have created a very special means of protection for Washington's palace. An attack there would be completely unexpected. You can get me past these protections? You will need a medal of a specific weight. There's a blacksmith in town, loyal to me. He'll help you. This is absurd. I will get Franklin's medal and we will catch up with you. This is a fool's errand, my friend. But I hope to see you in New York. What can I do for you, mister? Benjamin Franklin has sent me. He asks something of you. Franklin? He tells me you have an unusual medal. He would like you to give that to me. The thing about that is... The medal, please. A fella came along the other day, wanted his horse shot. Times being what they are, I was clean out of iron. Man's got a right to feed his children, don't he? Sorry, mister. You used it for horseshoes? Hi. Look good, too. Real good. Fellow rode away looking fine. Works at the Citadel, that one.
I stoked the brick oven. I've got to get the heat extremely high in order to melt the metal. Did you get it? I hope you have a crowbar. What for? Sam and Gunn and Dogon have gone with what's left of the men to Boston Neck. I hope they make it. We should join them as soon as we can. First, I must melt this down. Then I need the diagram of my design. I left it with an officer as a kind of insurance policy. He can almost always be found at the tavern. Get that? And I can file this shape to the correct precision.
The likes of him don't belong in here. Benjamin Franklin sent me to you. Sorry, my friend. You want something? You've got to beat me. I do not have a lot of time. That's my condition. Very well. But let's make it quick. Did you hear about the little fracas went down tonight? It was quite a battle. Battle is being generous. More like a massacre. Bunch of fellas got suckered by Putnam. Pretty funny. What do you mean, got suckered? Shooting fish in a barrel, really. Dumb fish. What are you talking about? Putnam started a rumor that the captain of the guard was friendly to the rebels. Hilarious. What? Yep. Old Putnam tricked those redcoats into coming out in a group to Boston Neck. Then just mowed those stupid saps down. Do you know this for a fact? I was there. I saw Adams take his last breath. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Get him, boys. to those louts. They never paid anyway.
Was that checker player telling the truth? Did Adams run into a trap? I must find out. Gunnan Dokong's tomahawk. Are these... Are these his fingers? That's from Sam's uniform. Dried blood. I have to be certain. Someone must have seen this. Terrible it was. Terrible. The rebels were overwhelmed, outnumbered four to one. Never seen such slaughter. Piteous. Piteous slaughter.
This should get us close to Washington. By heavens, what happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And Adams. Cannon Dogon. Everyone killed. Killed? We'll be next. We've got to get out of here. The land routes are cut off. We must escape by sea. Yes, by sea. I know of an excellent ship. But I'm too well known to move about freely. I will find you a disguise. Excellent idea. In the meanwhile, give me the diagram. I'll file this metal to precision. Bit of a tight fit, you know. How do I look? Ridiculous. You don't have to be so honest. Hmm. Oh dear, trouble ahead. Look! Here's one of us! Come along! We're headed to the tavern. You can buy us a mug of flip! Hold on there, Corporal. Yes, sir. That uniform doesn't really fit you, does it? I've uh, aimed a few back. That was close. Thanks for taking care of that.
Mr. Faulkner. Sir. Who's that? Do I... Franklin? Don't let the disguise fool you. Oh, goddamn! Uh, Your men stole my ship, you shite! Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. And why should I? You will get your ship back. Ha! <laughs> the goddamn wharf's too heavily guarded! I can change that if you tell me what needs to be done. Well, let's see. I'll need you to untie the killer so it's all set to go. Meantime, I can scare you up a small crew. Then we'll rush the guards and set sail. The Aquila is ready. 
Do you have a crew? They're here. Can they fight? They're sailors. They do nothing but fight. Let's go. Hold them off until you're ready to sail. Swim, lad, swim! Snipers! You need to stop them! They're shooting at Faulkner! Over here!
One move, just one move, and he's dead. Call back your men and give yourself up. Suerdos de Nargenon! Go! Shut it! Done such horrible deeds. It's the scepter, but that's no excuse. Every man holds evil deep within. The apple just brought it out. <gasps> Your only chance was to leave from the docks. You kept turning the wheel. Ganondokon, I do not care. Land ho! Look at that. <laughs> 